Right now, it is career day at One Hoover School. We've got Storm Track meteorologist Ashley Gant out at River Chase Elementary. Ashley, what's going on? Thanks, Lee. Yeah, it's a beautiful day out here in Hoover, or at River Chase, and I've got these great group of fifth graders here behind me. It was career day, but let's get right to the maps because there is a lot of weather to talk about as we head into the weekend. As for today, let's start with a live look from our Storm Track Tower Cam in Tuscaloosa. Temperatures right now sitting at 57 degrees there, bright sunshine. Across the board, we're looking at those temperatures in the mid to upper 50s across the state. So those current temperatures, not bad, not bad. We should be warming nicely here in the next couple of hours. We have 54 in Center, 53 in Gadsden, and 55 in Double Springs. Breaking down your day hour by hour, as I mentioned before, those temperatures should be landing at around 60 later on in the day. And uh, that's a good way to round out this afternoon come late January. And then those temperatures slipping into the mid 50s by 6 p.m. We will see clouds increasing overnight tonight as we are planning for some rain for the weekend. Here's your future cast. We're looking at a bit of that wet weather really starting to slide in late Saturday. Notice central Alabama could see a few rogue showers early tomorrow morning, but otherwise mainly dry until about after 12 p.m. And then that's when that cold front really starts ramping up late Saturday into Sunday. It does look like it's going to be a rainy Saturday night and even a Sunday, a soggy start to your Sunday morning. Grab the rain gear as you head off to church on Sunday, and then it does turn cooler as we start next week. That sun shines back in full supply on Monday, and here's a look at your storm track seven-day forecast. And that is a look at your weather from live in Hoover at River Chase Elementary. Now, back to you, Lee.